Yo, black man. Hey, what's up? Oh, you know, oh, a lot is up. I was going to say a little bit of this, a little bit of that, hey, but a whole lot is up, you know. We got some ground to cover t t t tonight or whatever have you. Are you ready? Uh, give me a minute and I'll be ready. A uh, minute meaning hang, hang up? And, oh, okay, great. Yeah, hang up. Oh, okay, then I'll do the radio thing. No dead air. I'll talk a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm going to use the Egyptian licorice uh, tonight. And uh, it says steep for seven minutes. I was in there for three minutes so far. And it's, it's for, a strong, <laughs> for a stronger tea, use two bags. Nah, I don't need a stronger tea. Uh, it's just a, it's only maintenance right now, you know. I, and plus, exactly. actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not that. You're not stressing it. Nah, nah. I'm, I'm, you know, since I since things have been revealed. In the last couple of days, I'm like super cool now. I can't believe how cool I am. I'm almost as cool as the black man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple of things. Oh, first of all, I told you about uh, uh, Breathe or Bre Breath, the, the book by uh, by James uh, uh, Nestor. Did I tell you that last week? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've been reading it. Oh, but let, let, me, let me just read a little. I don't have my reading glasses on, but I think I can get through this. Let me just read a little. This this thing here, this book, it's not changed my life, but it's made. I'm I'm in I'm in I'm in book heaven. I'm in joyful bliss. I'm in something something something. Um, just let, let me just put this. On. It says, the nose is crucial because it clears air, heats it, and moistens it for easier absorption. Most of us know this, but what so many people never consider is the nose's ex uh, unexpected role in problems like erectile function, or how it can trigger a, a, a cavalcade, I think it says here, a cavalcade of hormones and chemicals that lower blood pressure and ease digestion. Hmm. Mm. How it responds to the stages of a woman's menstrual cycle, how it, re how it regulates our heart rate, opens the vessels in our toes and stores memories how the de how the what's that div what's that density oh yeah density of it's like broken up in another sense the density of your nasal hairs help demonstrate i'm gonna have help this blah, blah, blah. Uh, let me do that over here how the density of our nasal hairs helps determine whether you'll suffer from here we go this is for you asthma that's on page what thirty nine. Now I'm on page thirty nine because I'm going I'm going at a pace. You know what I mean? I could actually go faster if I wish. I'm going at a pace, but you know what's going to happen. This book is so good. I know what's going to happen. Let me tell you what happens. I have a really good book. I go at a pace. Then when I come near the end, you know what I mean? When I see it, the end is coming, oh, I slow up. <laughs> yeah, you slow up, right? You I don't uh, I slow up. <laughs> I'm I'm going. It's like I'm going. I'm going like a rabbit first. Yeah, I get a little excited. Well, maybe I just go regular for it. Then I go like a rabbit. Then I say, wait a second, hold on. Then I start going like a turtle. Then all of a sudden, I'm slamming it. You know what I mean? So this yeah. this book is going to be with me for a while. But I got another book in the mail too. Okay. Now, when I first had my, you know, my little incident with the, with the, you know, with the sea, with the waves down there at Virginia Beach, you know, and I was, you know, I was paralyzed for like three days, well, for a few days, know, little hours, but then I was in ICU for like three days and I, I walked myself, you know, in like 10 days. And I, anyway, I got, I got some, anyway, they put me in a, in a VA hospital because they realized I was a vet. <laughs> you know, this is so funny. A doctor wanted to give me an operation, you know, you know, he's the Iranian guy, you know, you know, there's a lot of Iranian guys, the doctors that came here, whatever happened. And he's supposed to be like the, the, the best you know, a surgeon in the whole joint. You know, he took an interest in me, right? He wanted to give me a free operation. You know, of course, everything else had to be paid for. But, you know, uh, but, but you know, they, uh, they wanted to, you know, cut me and put some tubes in, no, the two rods in there and stuff like that. But anyway, I said, you know, I was, I was equivocating. Then they put me in a VA hospital. And then when they got my little team together and then the doctor, I asked the doctor, look, if you put these rods in me, don't you have to like, you know, change it every once in a while. I was oh yeah, we got to go back to, I said, I, then I said, well, would you do this? You know, would you have this operation? He said, no. So I said, nah, I'm all right. 
<laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> but anyway, from, from then on, I was in, on this healing mission. So that was like 2002. So for a whole year, I was in a neck brace. Oh, oh I, wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that for anybody. Uh, but then uh, when I could, you know, function a little bit, first thing that happened is, you know, they hired me. I had a limited, well, they hired me at uh, PFW to do this uh, uh, this national news program. I guess they want to rival Democracy Now. They knew I came from Democracy Now. And they, they knew my capabilities. Let's put it that way, you know. Anyway, uh, they wanted me to do to engineer that program. So I did for like three months, man. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't really, uh, I didn't really want to work, you know. They asked me to, to substitute. Anyway, I, long story short, it was a good experience, I guess. That's where I met uh, Scott Gorian, who's one of the best producers. Man, this guy was really, really, really good. Anyway, uh, and he's, he's, he does this podcast now called uh, Far, 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 Far From Home, something like that. I, I subscribe to it. I, I see Scott every now and then. Well, I see him. I talk to him every now and then. Hope I see him. Anyway, so then I won my little healing mission, you know, heal myself. And one of the first books I got, in fact, I think I got it in Washington, D.C., I'm almost certain it was this book called Somatics by uh, by uh, Thomas Hanna, right? Somatics, reawakening the mind's control over movement, flexibility, and health. Amazing. So that I, it's like that's my floor work that I do, you know. Yeah. So I started to do the basic. It's called what? It's called Somatics. S O M A T I C S. So mat. Ticks. I think he has the institute and stuff like that now. Now this guy, it's a big time guy. When did this thing come out? Uh, this is this is the first. This, they, yeah, I think he has several books now. This came out nineteen eighty. Uh, no, wait, yeah, yeah, it came out in nineteen eighty, nineteen eighty eight. Took copyright nineteen eighty eight by Thomas Hanna. Oh, so, so, oh, the drawings in here. So they got these. They they have these like uh, these figurines. Like, like you, you're art person. They got these figurines that they have in the book. And and you know they, they 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 put the little figurines in like in the poses that you or the, the positions that you're supposed to do it. So it's really helpful, and um you know it's really really very helpful, and 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 you know and doing and mastering the position not mastering but you know doing the positions the floor work positions you know. So it's got several, several exercises. So I do the basic ones, and I've been doing the basic ones for I don't know for, for less about three weeks or something like that. I'll continue. I think for this week. You're starting next week. I'll, I'll I'll add to it. No, because you know you 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 build up, build up, build up. So I'll add to it, and uh, and see yeah. what happens. So so that's good, you know. So that's what so far. Now was, I'm looking at this somatics, and it says there are different types that exist. What is the type that you're doing? What are you talking about? Different types? I don't know what they, this is. The only one I know. This is from this is from Thomas Hanna, H A N N. Okay. Yeah. But they have the uh, building. Chris method, the Laban movement analysis, the Alexander technique, mind body centering, and rolfing. Oh, rolfing! Oh, ro- ro- I know rolfing. I think this comes out of rolfing. The rolfing comes out of this. What was that? Was it, say the names again. I think the Alexander technique. Say the names again. Alexander technique. I think that's one of these guys was the first was the first person. He's like an Israeli guy that started this thing, and I think Thomas Hanna, you know, sort of uh, uh, built on that or whatever have you. Yeah. Like I said, this is good because I got to get the figurines. So I think I, I I'm trying to remember how it. I think I must have it in this book. The 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 you know how it started. So you know, but I I like this book because because it's got the thing. It works for me. It doesn't matter. But like all these things, when you start doing it. You know, you'll feel it, and then you basically you do you you you'll change it, and alter it a little bit for your own, you know, for your own body, your own self. So, so that's the way that. Well, works. I had a couple of YouTube videos. Uh, okay, well, good. Uh, I'll look at now. Nah, but what happened when I was when I went okay, to? I, I need to look at that. I don't have the book. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you modern people that refuse to get the books, man. I don't know what to say. Your Kindles. Man, I told I told David about about uh, uh, breath or breathe how he's your breath and and that boy he done he done got the Kindle you know what I mean so okay yeah yeah uh, see see don't see knows what's up <laughs> see see yeah 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 so 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 anyway so so we, but let me just say when I went to India when I was in Oro doing a whole lot of other you know techniques you know that's where I had the best the best um, acupressure no. Yeah, the best acupressure, the best masseuse in Oroville. Uh, he worked on me. I mean, you know, I, I've been all that kind of place. All kinds of things happen. 
anyway, uh, all through India, I got a lot of modalities. But I know what works best on me is, um, what's that, reflexology, which I actually went to, uh, when I was in Thailand, I went to a uh, institute that taught, they taught reflexology. So I know, well, I know, ref- I know a lot of stuff, you know, uh, all this stuff, but that works on me. This somatics works on me. And also Reiki, actually, but Reiki in a team, like more than like two or more people, two or four people in a, in a team yeah. works, works very, very good on my body. But you know, I ain't going to spend no money to get four people to be working on me and stuff like that. Nah. Um, uh, let's see. I think I'm a second, whatever level. I don't know. It's been so long ago. So, so, so that's so I'm, I'm on. So I'm, I'm on it. You know what I mean? And the, but, but, but the breath thing, the breathe thing. Oh man, I'm just blowing my mind, man. I'm just blowing my mind. That's really good. Let me see if my tea should be ready by now. Oh, I use this thing here. So anyway, so what's happening in your world before we get into this stuff here? Um. Basically, I was uh, I was in an online art class before you called. An online art class. Yeah. Hey, talk about online. Who would have thunk it? If they try to if they try to close down the internet or some most tools just like that, oh man, the world would. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, that'd be a problem. Oh man, that'd be a huge problem. Shh, problem. That'd be a huge problem for me, man. <laughs> but, but, but wait a second. From the know? very beginning, I'm talking about when they first opened up the World Wide Web, I was like, this is a game changer. I knew it was a game changer, and I always felt like it was going to level the playing field for those that didn't have access to resources. Mm-hmm. I just, you know, predicted that it was going to continue to grow where there would be more resources for stuff. You know, always forward thinking about it. Yep, yep. And mm-hmm. now we're at that point. We're definitely at that point, that, that tipping point. Like, if they take it away, it's a problem. Because <laughs> like you said, the Kindle people, <laughs> the YouTube people, all the people that look at stuff digitally, mm. they're going to, yeah, where's that book again? Mm. <laughs> Where mm-hmm. is it? What's the name of it? <laughs> What's it cost? Where is it? How can I find it? <laughs> you know, because all that is gone. Man. Mm. Well, you know, but but you know, here's the thing. Like I said, they're, but they're trying to alter YouTube a lot. And uh, oh, you know, I told you about that. I was gonna get this. I gotta blow my nose. Man. What the heck's going on here? Um, uh, I was gonna get at the end of the year. I was gonna get the 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 One Plus uh, 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 Nord, the new One Plus thing, because I'm a One Plus man. But then. Mm-hmm. I just came across this bulletin. I didn't read it all, but basically they said that all OnePlus machines are going to automatically have, I think they even said unremovable Facebook on it. No. Oh, yeah? Well, I, I can't believe anything's unremovable, but but this is going to be a problem because, you know, I never I, I never did Facebook from the beginning. And then here, yeah. now you call me prejudiced, whatever it is, but one of the things is when I saw that guy, you know, I work. You know, I work on some other levels. When I saw that guy, you know, I didn't like the way he looked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I said I would never buy anything from this cat. Why didn't even buy this? I didn't go. I can go on with that stuff. And I knew Facebook way before it started. It's like I knew Gmail way before it started. You know what I mean? Because I was, yeah. in fact, when I was in D.C., the cats I was hanging out with when I was at, li- living at that vegan house. You know what I mean? They're the ones that was the, the, the introduced me to Gmail. I didn't take it at the time because I could have I could have just had Sloan at gmail.com. If, you know, it was just yeah. that early, you know. But anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Uh, so but I don't do that. Just just like just like when when you're like Bill Gates, same thing. That when I look at him, he can't sell me nothing. <laughs> him and his wife can't sell me nothing. That's why this well, whole. I, that's I always thought Microsoft sucked anyway. I'm an Apple guy. <laughs> well, I don't know about Microsoft or nothing like that, but I'm just saying that. Hey, this no, I'm going like. In fact, you know something? I might have to go over to Apple because if OnePlus is going to do that, you know what? What's what's? I, I don't know, man. I, I like I like my OnePlus, man. I just like it. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, maybe I just have to. I don't know. <sighs> Cause I have to get a new one because I just want the storage because I'll be traveling. And uh, it looks like I'll be, well, whatever. Uh, so, so what else is happening yeah. with you? So wait, you said you like the storage. Yeah, man. Well, well they, they, the storage is going to get more and more and more. I know Apple. I'm just trying to explain. I'm saying Apple, you know, everything's in the cloud, man. And wow. you, you're going to have a problem with that. 
Yeah, I have a problem with the crowd, crowd, man. I, I, you know, I can't. But, you know, probably the way they got this stuff, they're moving everything to, they're going to do what they want to do. You know? Yeah. That, that's why I, see, the problem, I'm traveling, so I want to keep, I want to, I think that I can get 256 storage with the next one that comes out, and I think there's probably, this probably come, come with even more. But usually, if I was home, if I was in South Africa, you know, I just put them on, on external drives. I just store, keep on, on external drive, you know, terabyte here, terabyte there, like that. Yeah. But um, I can't do that now because I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not in South Africa. <laughs> I'm crying, man. I hear you. Are you, <laughs> you don't care, do you? <laughs> no, no, I do, I do. Oh, okay. I feel for you, man, you know. I actually heard um, the chicken and eggs piece. Oh, oh, I was oh. like, wow, man, yo, that's messed up, bro. Oh, well, it's all right, man. Ain't, ain't she hilarious? Hey, come on, tell me my wife ain't Oh, yeah, hilarious. she's hilarious. She is. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't even keep up. You can't keep up with her. <laughs> you have no idea, man. I used to tell her she's my greatest source of entertainment. And the funny, yeah. thing, funny thing is my, my best friend here, he said to me one time, I said something. He said, oh, that's because, he said, that's because you're, you're your best source of entertainment, you know. So we like compliment each other. So it's really interesting. But um, yeah. but things are moving along. Okay, now I was gonna uh, do the the uh, go back to ADOS, but I have to do something first because, as you know, I'm into numbers. Um, and let me go to my my number chart here, and especially the, the uh, I really like the Rosicrucian uh, ways of working. To here's uh, here's my chart here. Uh, is this it? Yeah, and, you know I'm into numbers, and well, just to be, be real quick and go over it real quick, I'm gonna talk fast, you know. Uh, but basically. Okay. Uh, um, uh, minus nine months to about uh, nine years is your, is your optimal time for your physical growth. From 10 to 18 is your mental growth. From uh, 19 to 27 is your sexual growth. Uh, 20, uh, um, from uh, basically uh, 28 to 36 is your spiritual growth. This means these are the optimum times. It's about vibrations. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you go back to physical again from 37 to 45. Mental is 46 to 54, right? Sexual is 55 to 63. And spiritual is uh, uh, basically 64 to 72, right? So I'm in my yeah. second spiritual thing. Now, what happens when you go through a cycle the first time, you know, then, you know, you sort of complete. Um, that's why it's sort of interesting that the, the, to be president of the United States, you have to be over 35 years old because you're a complete yeah. person. You see, that's very interesting, you know? Um, and, uh, but, you know, here's the thing. They say if to be an American Indians, they say that to be a man, you're like 52, right? Yeah. So, so here's what I would say. Now check this out. Here, here's what, if I was to rewrite the whole thing. Now you at you know at 18 to so whatever you could be a congressperson up until whatever. Then 36 you could be president. But but you can, I would say you can't be a senator until after 52. Oh, I hear that. You see, this is really yeah. interesting. That's what I was, you can't be a senator until after 52 years of age, right? Um, the the Supreme Court. I say you can be any age, because it's, people don't understand. They they see the law. The lawyers have then wrapped everything up. But you can sit in the Supreme Court. You could be, if you make sense. If you don't understand what's going on, I mean, at eighteen you could be on the. Well, at sixteen you could be on the Supreme Court. You just judging. Yeah. You know, you, da, 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 yeah. They just make it complicated. You can make it easy, like say you know anyway. So, so, so that's it. But these things are about the, the optimum time like that. So right now, basically, I'm in my spiritual, I'm in my second spiritual round, you know, just the beginning of my second spiritual round. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, uh, coming towards the end of my second spiritual round, right? So, so that's what it is, right? Now, remember these things, these, these energies, about the energy. Now, remember, the, the reason why they, they try to recruit you, like, into the, into the military or whatever, between uh, 19 and, you know, or 18 and, 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 and 27, is because that's, that sexual uh, thing is very strong. That, that, that's your strongest uh, vibration, let's put it that way. And the one that they, did, that they, don't, they don't tell you about. But here's the thing. I mentioned to you before, and now we're going to go into it, uh, but also in numbers, you know, I mentioned numerology, too. But like, yeah. say for instance, today I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a astrology. I'm like a cancer three, but lead the lead the cancer out is. But I'm a three personality, so not like three. Um, you know, my days are like Mondays and Thursdays. You see, those are my optimum days to do stuff. So if I'm looking at something, I have to travel. You know what I mean? 
Yeah. I will usually try to pick up Thursday or Monday like that. If I'm trying to do something different, I just be, this is the optimum days, right? I'm, I'm actually yeah. I'm actually born on a Monday, you know what I mean? So, so for instance, every Monday I fast, you know, just because I'm born on a Monday. And, I, you know, you're supposed to take your spiritual bath on Monday, well, on your day, that you're, day of the week that you're born. So, like, today is a Thursday, very good day. But more importantly, and if you look at the numbers, this is a one, and then, it, you know, this is a one day for me. You see, so this is the for beginnings. So on that, I told you that, uh, oh, you don't know this yet. Oh, yes, you do know. Uh, uh, I'm doing this unit, this unit called uh, Sloan Warriors. Or, so I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Sloan Warrior. Now, Sloan, the last, Sloan means the name, um, the English or the, uh, the Anglo meaning of Sloan is warrior. So I'm talking about warrior, right. warrior warriors, right? Now, this is interesting. Now, you... Black man, uh, uh, -huh. uh see, see, it's, it's it's a title that you can't. It's like you can't actually reject or re accept. You don't even. You may not even know you have it. You see what I'm saying? You you are a Sloan warrior, okay? Basically, not mine. You're a Sloan. You're a warrior warrior, okay? Now, but you're you're hooked up with me, okay? Which means right. that you are my collaborator. I see. Okay, you're in other words, every every Sloan warrior only has one collaborator. Now remember, in every situation when you see these people get off to whatever these these revolutionaries get off, they always get off by somebody who knows them, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they they turn code or something like that. So I only have one collaborator. So I can only be uh, betrayed by one person. That's my collaborator. <laughs> mm. That would be me. <laughs> that, that, that would be you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I only have to look at one person. Don't get me wrong. There's other people in your thing. So the same thing for you. If you wanted, if you wanted a, a warrior unit, you would only have one collaborator. It couldn't be me. It has to be, yeah. you know, it has to be somebody else. And you don't, you don't tell me who it is. You see what I'm saying? Right. Well, you could, I guess, you know, or I didn't tell everybody who my collaborator is. That doesn't matter. Right. Uh, but then you have other people in your circles, like, for instance, uh, I say, and I mean, this goes back, I don't know if you remember, but, you know, when we first, you know, in the 90s, you know, when, or the 80s, 90s, when the rappers first started coming to prominence, and they had their little crews, right? Yeah. I, I would always say, no, you know, instead of having your boys and, and, and throw bottles at a club or something like that, you need somebody on your crew that, you know, you, you know, you, you need your historian, you know, historian who's also a bodyguard, you know, you, you need your sociologist who also be also a bodyguard, you know, you need your, your, somebody you send to school to be a doctor, you know, you have a crew that everybody has, you know, in your neighborhood, you figure, hey, this, this person would be a good you know, whatever, a, a, a good artist. So this is your art guy. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, right? Yeah. So, uh, so, so, so my little crew, I say, every, every first of all, everybody needs, you, you have your doctor, or let's call it the person a medic, okay? That's the basic thing. They could be, a, they could have a doctor or not, whatever it is. But, uh, but everybody in the crew is trained for first aid. Okay? Yeah. Everybody in the crew, no matter. Okay. Actually, we should have first aid just normally in school, not in school, but in, in your development. After, after you're a certain age, like say, let's go back to the numbers, say at, at 17, you know, before you go into your sexual, your next sexual play, maybe even 13, before it gets all sexual, people get, oh, I'm touching the body. Everybody should learn first aid. You know what I mean? So I'd say, uh, well, since you get out of the beginning of high school, like say 14, 15, 16, somewhere right there, everybody should have first aid. Okay. Um, Oh, you need a lawyer? Forget about that. You need a lawyer? Well, JB is my lawyer. He's a retired lawyer. So he's my lawyer. See, these people don't have to know. Well, he don't have to know, but that's what it is. Uh, historian already have that. That's, 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 that, that would be James Small, but, you know, whatever it is. Um, I say you need to have a spiritual advisor. Of course, I have my spiritual advisor. You know, David's my spiritual advisor. Uh, right. Uh, so so you, have, you have your crew, which, what you need, right? Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's your crew, okay? Now, here's the trick. Here's the trick. When I say, well, Sloan, well, I'm your clarity. That means that you're in charge? No, this is the trick. Oh, I am so brilliant. I, I'm smarter than what I look. Here we go. We have nobody. In other words, I'm not following. Uh, let me put it this way. We have a model, okay? Now, our model, I'm going to tell you, you don't know him yet, but our model is a guy in South Africa, young cat. Like he's a, let's put it away. He's under 35 years old, okay? 
So he's not fully developed yet. You know, he he's he's just getting to his spiritual thing, but he's got the other things done, right? But he's under. Right. He could. He, person could even be younger than that. Person could be, you know, baby Jesus. He, he could be twelve years old, whatever. He's what I call. He's our model. Our model meaning. Like, I got this from when I was listening to Prince. Said, he used to be Chelsea Rise. He used to be a, a, a model, a role model. He used to be a role model. Model. This is our model. Now, Miss Slowly, what's interesting about him is that uh, he, man, this guy. You know, he he does. You know, like in the morning, for instance, he'll drink hot water and le and lemon and lemon juice and, and lemons, real squeeze, real lemon, like that. You know what I mean? He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He don't do. And he, it's, he's just an amazing cat. I ain't never met though. You know, <laughs> he's like he's like me or us when we were that young. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. he, he's he's a principled, incredibly principled, honest. You know what I mean? This is this. In fact, I'm I'm fortunate because I'm surrounded by you know like say JB is like you know the most honest person I know you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Um, principal. I'm surrounded by a lot of principal people. You know what I mean? But anyway, he's 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 our model. When I say our model, you don't have to know him, but he's 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 he's. Well, you'll eventually know him. He's out. He's just a model. You know that he don't need. He probably won't even. He won't even. He, well, I done told him. I told him. I told him when I grew up, I would be just like him. I didn't say it like that. I say, I say, I'm following you, even though I don't follow anybody, as you know. <laughs> I don't seek no followers. This is why I only have a yeah. collaborator. See, you're not a follower. You're a collaborator, right? Yeah. See, slow warriors don't have followers. Okay. We have associates, collaborators, you know, peers, whatever it is. You see. So that's our basic unit. So that's where we start. So officially, from this date, whatever the heck this date is, you know, a, a Thursday, a Thursday, some month, whatever, what month we, a th a Thursday in August. Hey, August is the month that a lot of liberation happens. So there you go. You know. So now officially, I don't know. Look, you, like I said, you, you whether you agree with it or not, pff, <laughs> don't matter. So there you go. There's, there's nothing to be done. There's no. There's, <laughs> There's no nighting. You can't take no liquids enough. Like you, uh, you could drink a cup. I don't know. You, you can laugh. That's it. We we, yeah. we we laugh at the absurdities. That's what you do. So you just did it. We laugh. That's it. Done. You don't did the oh, laugh. I get that one hundred. <laughs> that's it. That's how we work. So 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 that's it. So so I just wanted to tell you that. So you we officially we officially look well. We officially launched our unit a little while ago. It's like it's like that nine, nine months before that. That whole like I said, uh, you know, you have. Uh, what gestation and then now this is the birthing or whatever it is like okay okay now what you got on your plate man because i got one more one more thing actually oh oh, oh one more thing oh what am i saying what, uh, um now you tell me something then i'm gonna tell you something else there's something else that we're gonna do um i got nothing really to tell the truth <laughs> i got nothing right now okay no it's all right you don't have to have nothing you, 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 Pure as a driven snow. Okay, what now here's the thing. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking too much, man. You know, so that's why I'm Oh wondering. no no no. Yeah. So, okay, I hear what you're saying. Um uh, uh um when um you know Bob Rantier, uh, Peace and Blessings on Internal Soul, who was the uh, head of the National Black Theater, I know Bob Rantier well for a long time. Um uh, and she uh when they wanted to go to Africa, the, the, the African, I think it was the African celebration, the one where uh, the National Black Theater went there. I think Stevie was there. Farrakhan was there in Nigeria, you know. Uh, I think it was in 77 or something like that. But when she wanted to go, uh, uh, what, no, she found out about it, but she had the theater company. First, they said every morning at a certain time, they would always, they would chant, or, or wherever they were, they would chant and meditate or think, oh, you know, about going to Africa. Then that didn't work because people got up at different times. So they said, whenever you wake up, you're going to, you know, you're going to do this, right? Okay, so as they say, hold on to that thought. Right? Okay. Somewhere, somewhere in developing my audio drama, I wanted to do this thing where I would tell the kids, okay, now we're going to we're we're, we're as you, we're going to have this uh, at the end at a certain end of time, we're going to have this uh, conclave, you know, bringing everybody together. But up until that time, you know, every time you get up in the morning, every time you brush your teeth, then you would think about you know something, whatever we was going to do positive, right? So I stuck with my mind these kind of things where you put out there in the universe. Everybody has focused on the universe a certain thing. So now here's the thing. What I do, uh, I have this little jar, it's like a round jar, that I put my toothbrush in with water 
So it's a soft brush, soft bristle toothbrush in my water. I put that in that at night. You know, in other words, when I brush my teeth, I don't lose my toothbrush out. I just put it. I just me and my wife do. We have these little cups, you know, and we put our toothbrush in your own cup in the water. But what I do in the water, you know, what I mean, it's enough to cover the cover the bristles a little bit. What I do, we take um, iodine and put some drops of iodine in that water. Okay. So, okay. So the water, so the toothbrush is soaking in iodine and water okay not a lot of iodine a few drops right i got here and i couldn't find i iodine you know so i got this thing uh betadine b-e-t-a-d-i-n-e it's the antiseptic this whole thing is the antiseptic that's why i did it because when i started doing south africa because of, so it's the antiseptic so i got this so what i do about every three or whatever days i change the water but i lose the toothbrush in there and i put the, i put about 12 drops the numbers again. I put about twelve drops in there, you know, of this uh, of this beta dye. Um, kills germs promptly or uh, in minor cuts, scrapes, and burns. Anyway, uh, and so I I, I, I lit my toothbrush in that, you know. So like I said, every three days I change the water, put like you know, twelve drops, or whatever. As soon as it goes in, it's sort of you know, it, it, you won't notice the iodine in there, right? Um, so I'm suggesting that uh, that you do this also. It's a suggestion. Again, with collaborators, uh, how should I say? Sloan Warriors, we don't insist on nothing. We just suggest if we do anything. And this suggestion go to anybody. And so I suggest that we do this. But every time you brush your teeth, right, yeah. we have to come up with, uh, I guess, the, the incantation or, or the, the thought has can change anytime you want. So, so I think that what you have to do uh, maybe the next time or some other time, you uh, it'll be on you, my collaborator. I think you have to think of a a a a, a suggestion, an incantation, or, or something that when I every time I you know brush my teeth, you know I I say this, you know, or I, I yeah I say I have to you have to say it aloud, you have to put it out to the universe like that. So that'll be your job. You 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 come up with it. So you have some time to come up with it, unless you got one right now, you know. And I'll write it down, and 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 then we'll do that for a while. You know, I don't know how many weeks or months or days. And then we can change it any time. We might keep it for a long time. So you have to come okay. up with something. So that'll be that'll be that my my collaborator has to come up with something. Now I could ask. Okay, you come up with something. I, I have to. T I interview him. Oh, I talk myself fully all the time. So, but next Tuesday is when I'm interviewing him. You know, uh, like in this situation for uh, this report on on Southern Africa and what we're doing down there. So I'll ask. In fact, I just put it out to him. I'll ask him. I said, well, what, what would you, what would you suggest? That would be good. So I'm not, okay. I take this away from you. I take, I'm sorry. I give it <laughs> <laughs> and I take it away. Okay. I'm going to talk to Mr. Coley, right? He'll come yeah. up with our act. Since he's our model, he'll come up with an incantation, incantation, whatever the heck it is, what we say in the morning or every time we brush our teeth, no matter when you brush your teeth, you know? Uh, so, so I'm, I'll report to you as soon as he, soon as he comes up with something. How's that? Oh, I love the way this. All right. Okay, good. Mm. Okay, here's what happened this week. I don't know how this happened. No, let me. I I know that when I was in New York this past time, I go to this fish to get fish. You know, uh, you know the the, the host. The, you know how we have fish, the fish fry place in New York. You know we have the yeah. You know, you know the fish. You can get the the shrimp and the thing covered. You get your usually you get your collard greens and they have the yams. And then, you know, it's a basic kind of thing. Well, there's one on 116th Street, uh, right at, uh, uh, what do you call it, adjacent, across the street, adjacent to Amy Roof's, you know. And the same, you know, the the, the Moss 7 block, you know, Malcolm X's old, you know, temple, whatever, block. It's on that, I think it's on the same, yeah, it's at the end of the block. But this fish place is in the middle of the block, right? This, we everybody was mad. No, people were yeah, people were masked up waiting for our fish. And so this guy, you know how we are black, but he just talking about, oh, I wish Obama was back and blah, blah, blah. So, you know, doing like that. And I said to him, I said, Oh man, Obama, he ain't did nothing for you. He said, you, you, blah, blah, blah. Then he mentioned for some reason he mentioned Susan Rice. I said, Do you know who Susan Rice is? You know, I was thinking about the foreign affairs and her neocon kind of thing, right? Yeah. And you know, so we you know how you know how when you have black people around and then two people going at it, everybody else says they just making like nothing's happening. They sort of play through it. Oh, just going to escalate to something like this. Because he had a loud mouth. And, you know, I, I just got tired of hearing about Obama. So I was, we were going back and forth. It's like, okay, so that ends. But it stuck in my head. 
Then what happened, I forgot how this happened, but sometime recently, somehow, I don't know, I, Susan Rice, I, she got in my head, you know what I mean? And, yeah. and, and, and I guess because maybe she was a 10, they just sort of mentioned it slightly. She may be a, a VP pick for Joe Biden, right? So it's sort right. of playing on my brain. So then, oh yeah, in my circle, for instance, I have my res my internet researcher is Nelson Davis down in Atlanta, right? So we talk all the time. Yeah. I'm working on a, well, I'm, I'm supposed to be- Yeah, hoping. I heard that one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. I started thinking and I said, wait a second. And so let me, let's research. I said, let's research, you know, because he came up, well, we were talking and then he just came up with, you know, who the vice president picked up because his, his, his uh, mayor in Atlanta was, Supposed to be on some sort of weird short list, because everybody talk about Kamala Harris. I'm going like that. In AGOS, we done nixed Kamala Harris a long time ago. Then she gonna come back? No, we, there ain't gonna be no no Brahmin woman going. You know, claiming, ain't coming back. You know, there, no, no, no Brahmin back. woman. <laughs> you know, no Brahmin woman. So I was really yeah. thinking. So 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 we so so now so we yeah, started. I thought that was funny, Brahmin. <laughs> so, so so we so we started going through the names, right? And so uh, when you got to Susan Rice. I started thinking, and then we started going through that. And I said, hey, she's the one, right? Okay, so, yeah. so then we sort of ended it there because it was getting kind of long. But then we came back the next day and delved into her lineage. And it's yeah. amazing. She's like, that is. I'm going like, as, as you were talking about it, I looked it up. And then I was point by point with him on Wikipedia. <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed you know that. I'm sorry, was that point by point what? Everything he was saying, I was reading point by point. I was doing a read along while he was speaking. And so now I'm thinking, I'm going like, wait a second. She's been around since Clinton. Forget Clinton, Marilyn Albright. Because that's yeah. the hookup. The whole Brookings Institute of her. Oh, and yeah. then if you look at her parents, they're like pre neo they're, they're, they're the ingredients, the pre-mortal <laughs> neocons. And then Clinton, of yeah. course, started the whole neocon thing, Marilyn Albright ne neocon thing, right? And then I'm going like, but she's like perfectly groomed to be, I'm going like, what? Then I started looking up and say, hey, did, these people are playing like three-dimensional, you know, quad quadrimensional chess. I think yeah. they... She is like the, not my cheering candidate, but she is the hidden thing. They've been grooming her to be president for a long time. And then I really started thinking, I said, what would make Bernie really stand down like that? What would make all these people drop out? What would make, and, and, and you know, you know, I call Barack Obama snake in the grass. You know what I mean? He's the manipulator, mad, talk about mad. Hey, look, I'm gonna stop with, let me leave Barack alone. There's manip manipulation here. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, I don't know why. Oh, I, I, I know I have it. Talk about nose. I I'm breathing pretty good. Um, uh, so I'm looking, I'm going like, wow, she's the person. She's ADOS, you know, black woman, you know, like that. She even got the immigrant strain, not 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 immediately because uh, uh because not not her uh her grandparents on the mother's side, you know, comes from immigrant stock. So she can play that card. Right, she's ADOS on her father's side, pure ADOS on her father's side. We got to dig further for that. Plus, both her mother and her father were pioneers in their field. So I'm going like, what? This is amazing. And for them to keep on propping up Joe Biden, and now because Don and here's the other thing, yo, Donald Trump has done everything since he's been president not to be president, and he just, you know, that boy just loved to play games. He just loved to play games. So I'm he in fact he just putting all his people in place. He just giving paid off all his people. That's all he does. You know, so I don't even think about Donald Trump, right? But if yeah. Donald Trump wins, they still win because they can keep on sharpening their knives for the next time. You see? Yeah. Excuse me. Now, if because everybody so they gotta vote for Biden, 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 Biden. So if he picks uh, 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 Susan Rice, then she's VP. He can step down right away because the rules are that, you know, your vice president will take over. But then again, she's still eligible for two more terms. 
So we can wow. basically, so, so basically you can have 16 years of a woman, a black woman presidency, neocon presidency. Remember, she's hooked up with the banking as well as the war machine, and, and, and she's international. It's amazing. Oh, man. Oh. He's qualified. Do, no, do you don't understand. We're talking more than qualified. You you can't beat her. Okay. That's what I'm saying. She got the pedigree. Uh, uh, pedigree, yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Let me put it this way. You know, every you know, I'm the center of my universe, so I have to always, you know, I'm the center of the universe, well, my universe. You know, you know how I became arts director? Because I didn't want to be arts director. All I did was put my, my resume in. I said, if whoever becomes arts director, because they've been messing up our department, then they got to be better than me on paper. Well, who's better than Susan Rice on paper? Who? Nobody. I rest my case. <laughs> So anyway, man, that's it. I don't know. Uh, that's 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 what happened this week. Um, you got anything? Anything else you wanna you wanna bring up? Or whatever you know. See what happens. Um, what was it that I was looking at that was like really interesting? Mm. Uh, I just been looking at the economy stuff. Is it Bitcoin? Is it not Bitcoin? Is it that the housing is going to do it? Is it all the evictions? It's just, there's just so much, you know, well, big, big riding big, on, big, on uh, the economy right now. No, big, I think that people are kind of like, you know, they're more focused on, like you said, politics, but then uh, the economy. Well, it's going to hit them. Most people don't focus on the cap, but it's going to hit them when it's, when it's housing stuff. Yeah, it's going to it's going yeah. to hit. It's hitting already. People said I didn't want to. People say like, well, I didn't want to take a, a, a what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? Unemployment. But you know, now with things gone, I see I got to take unemployment. You know, and then with the, all the games that they're playing, so that's going to be yeah. Which is a whole other interesting thing, because yeah, but it's like the elephant in the room, though. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's the elephant in the room, like. Everybody knows it's gonna happen. It's like, yo, when um, uh, it's coming. Well, you, you said know? you said elephant in the room. It's like everybody knows gonna happen. So in other words, the elephant finally falls down. Boom. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> everybody trying to ignore it right now that you know that the elephant's there, but he's right there. Because even with um, the reason why I mentioned Bitcoin was because if you notice throughout this whole thing, more and more people have to use digital currency. Than regular dollar dollars. Well, yeah, you know, yeah. Between Bitcoin and gold, that's the thing. You know, we 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 deal with Max Kaiser, so we we give that. But I'm beyond that because but also silver, though silver. Yeah, silver, silver, silver's there too. You know, silver's there too. But but any precious metal because silver, you you know, you can actually spend with silver more. So I think really, like if it, let's say we was on the gold standard again, <laughs> you know, you. Like the gold to me would be like you hold that, like you hold it in the bank, and the silver is what you trade with, like if you're trading dollars. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, black man, you are thinking, black man. I like that. Okay, yeah, I'm rolling with you on that. Then what we'll do next? Uh, what, the next time we talk, then we'll do we'll do my little uh, reparations and how to pay up because that plays all into that. We we should do that. I wanted to say one more thing. Uh, the, I think the other thing. Uh, so uh, aside from getting our bodies together, that's why there's this breathe and and it's semantics is well you got to get your body straight uh, because because yeah. you know the health system whatever you know they they want people to die but you know this year I just found out this this is the, this going to be the most severe hurricane season ever the more storms than ever that's going to be interesting. Yeah, what do you think of um well you was away from it though but over here man trees were falling like crazy I heard about it. <laughs> Yeah, like one on my block. <laughs> yeah, and and the the services is ridiculous. Mm. Firemen came in. Mm. They went up the block, saw the tree blocking the block, mm. back back out of the block. Nothing they could do. Another fireman came. You know, another truck came a few hours later. Went in the block, back back out of the block. Sanitation came early in the morning. Went in the block, back back out of the block. I'm like, yo, when well, you're going to take care of this tree, man? <laughs> it's like, yo, 
Somebody's supposed to do it. You can't just put caution tape and walk away. That's ridiculous. You know something? That goes back that goes back to to what what's what's that boy Koch and Stossel. Because Stossel, remember, he changed the garbage trucks from four man weather trucks to two man trucks. That's yep. when the whole thing yep. started to go down. And then dumbass Dinkins, I said it, you know, leave Stasso on his <laughs> Leave Stasso on his. Staff. How do you take somebody from the up uh, from the from the other uh, the other staff to stay on your staff and make two deputy mayors? Stasso, Stasso, a union breaker, basically. Man, Dinkins, thinking like Obama, man. I, 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 Dinkins, is, Dinkins was pre-Obama. I, man, I'm still mad at David Dinkins. Not because he threw, not only because he threw Sonny Carson under the bus. This is mad. I'm just. Just, I say the same, man. I'm not mad at nobody, but that's not the point. So, um, so anyway, so that's interesting. Well, these treats, yeah, I heard these treats before. I didn't realize that I wasn't in New York. All right, I'm yeah. never, I'm never where the thing is. I, you know, I'll, hey, hopefully, oh, minute, I did. Oh, look, I just did. I just put it up. I did an interview with with Miss Eula here in Missouri. Yeah, I saw the first one. No, this the one I just did. with love. Yeah, you live with love. Yeah, there, there, there was another I did a series of her. But she yeah. did this one talking about this Congressman Clay that got defeated by by this Cory this Cory Bush woman, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Look, y'all can listen to all the, the NPR interviews or whoever y'all listening to. She nailed it. Oh, you gotta look at this one. Oh okay. man. Let me tell you, black man, let me say something like. Now, I've been interviewing people for a long time. I got my techniques down. Me ranting like this is just, pff, that's just nothing. If you want to, if you really know what's going on, you look at my interview channel, but this is on interview channel. That's yeah. what's going on. This is, was a master interview. I, of course, I'm making me the center of my universe, but my point is that she was so good. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Hey, look, my stuff is on Creative Commons. Anybody want to take anything, just just, just take because she's like really good. Just give us credit, you know, you know. I don't need no more. Hey, you can put some Bitcoin in my thing if you want, but that's that's about it. You know, I don't I don't take no credit. How does that work? I don't know. No, I have my. <laughs> Cause I have the thing there. Yeah. And I'm like, is this a series of numbers and stuff? But what do you do? Well, you get your Bitcoin and you put it in my Bitcoin wallet. That's it. I yeah, okay, so wait. So I have a Bitcoin wallet now. I don't have anything in it yet. Right. But what do you do? Like what? What do you do? We, I, we need to have a Bitcoin one hundred and one session. <laughs> not with me. You got to have with somebody. Get your get your guy. I don't know. Hey, you the collaborator. Okay, I, I see. I see. Okay, I get it. I you, get it. Let me put it this way. Look, you know, I'm not yeah. a materialistic person. I only got the right. wallet. I only got the wallet because my research group must have in them. They're the ones that made me not say made me do it, but I'm. I'm. I'm that was my research group, so I had to sort of go along with them, right? So right. I just had right. that. I don't you know. Look have at it. one, you gotta get one too. Yeah, exactly. So, okay, so, it. so once you get some Bitcoin, you could just Bitcoin contributions. I don't check it. I don't care if it's that people can hack it. I don't care. Just, I don't. I don't deal with it. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. In fact, Stacy Herbert from Max Stacy, she she you know says, says something whatever. She had a little communication with me, but but when she found out that I'm really not dealing with it, she she ain't talk to me no more. I mean, I'm not down with her <laughs> because of that. <laughs> no, but I mean, you know, because they're on a mission. You know, they're, they're on a mission. They try to get as many people in Bitcoin as possible. I mean, look. Whenever, when, whenever I get to, uh, I'll find out some other year or something like that. I'm not. I'm, it's not that I'm not interested. I'm not a materialistic person. I'm. A, I'm. I'm a, I'm a witness traveler. That's what I am. I travel with little money as possible. With money, I don't know how to explain it to you. You know what I mean? I, 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 people, I'm like a. I'm a monk. I'm on the unsequestered monk tour. You know what I mean? I got you. Did uh, this top I got on right now? No, my yeah. my brother in, in, in New York, buddy, my fraternity, he 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 gave this to me. You know what I mean? I'm in yeah. my friend's house. I get my sister. I mean, I'm by. I got some money. I, I get a train ride as cheap as possible. To, then I'm gonna go to Canada, and hang out with some people for a while. Now, how long be that? Because I'm stuck here. I don't know. I just travel. I just do what I need to do. I slow to the ground. I don't. I'm not opulent. You know. I don't. Whatever happens, happens. You know. I walk by faith, not by sight. Hate to be Christian about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, know, what to tell you, I don't know what to tell you, man. Just, I'm just a witness traveler. That's all. I'm no. I'm. I'm a little. 
And this guy, PLO Lumumba, says, you have to do something for the cause. People say, well, well, what are you doing for the, you know, for the, you know, Unite Africa, whatever it is. And he says, well, you know, I'm just a drop in the, in the sea. I'm one drop. So I'm doing what I can. Yeah. You know, I've done, I guess, I, if I stop right now, all the stuff that I did with, with Mrs. Tole, or, or all that stuff, all the cats in South Africa that I had affecting what they're doing, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I don't say retired, but that I'm done. I mean, I've, I've I've accomplished so much already in just little little things. Just my archival work alone, my archival work alone should give me. I'm an asterisk, you know what I mean? Yeah. My work alone would say with BAI or, or democracy now or wherever alone, you know. That's just the way it is, you know. You know, nobody you're not, you're not supposed to know who I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Point. I'm a slow warrior. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. What? That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Let me just tell you that what you just said is like a like perfect slogan for a t-shirt. Get it? <laughs> no. Tell me what it is. No, say when you say I'm a slow warrior. What? <laughs> like that? <laughs> oh, that's right. You the graphic designer. Okay. Hey, excuse me, sir. Can I? Can I say something? Yes, please speak. Uh, I know you're supposed to be working on, on the Henry Duma thing for me, right? But yeah. there's another one, man. You, in fact, you can start the merch line. We need the merch. Not me. I can't do the merch. I, you know, you, if you want to start a merch line or you lose, or f- find somebody in your circle and do that, whatever happened, you could do that. Slow, slow warrior, what? Make up the t-shirt, man. Simple t-shirt, you know. I'll, and here's here's how here's what kind of guy I am. You make a t shirt, I'll buy the I'll buy the t shirt. Okay. <laughs> I'll buy my own I'll buy my own t shirt. <laughs> That's the kind of guy I am, you know. Yeah. Eugene Eugene Redman has this, this poetry book. He wants to give it to me. I said, But Eugene, you're you're a poet. You poets are poor. I'll pay I'll pay for the book. <laughs> <laughs> He's just gonna give it to me anyway. I know he will. So anyway, look, look, we we've been having fun as usual. But it's been long and, you know, but these, these things are just for documentary purposes only. So people are not supposed to be listening to us. You know, you know, I don't have no traffic on my side. You know, this is, we on the, you know, yeah, yeah, you know, zip, da, da, da. Okay, man, I'll talk to you. We'll figure out what's next time uh, we'll talk. See what next time uh, we'll, we'll hook up. All right? Okay. All right, black man. Be well. All right. All right. Oh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. You still there? <laughs> One more thing. I forgot. I got mail. Remember? The USA Miami Shields? Mail from who? Well, the USA... I, 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 no, not mail. The USA Shields. Remember you wanted to get the Shields thing? Yeah. For the mask? Well, I got, yeah. the, I got the Shields, right? But now they yeah. got these little pins. Now, what am I... You got to take the thing off. Now, what am I... What do I attach it to? You know, I'm supposed to put it up. You know, well, I, you know, they have this frosted thing. You take it off. Then you have the shield so you can see through. But what, but, but what do I get to attach it to? Wait, so you got the shield... Right? Yeah. But you don't have the you have the um headgear part? No. That's what I'm saying. What's the headgear? They didn't send you the headgear? No, they don't have no headgear. They just they said they just said the shields. So at uh, the, no no no, it's supposed to be like a headgear and then the shield attaches to that. Okay, well they didn't send I don't have no headgear. Maybe they're gonna send in a separate one. I'll communicate with them. Yeah. They got I got the pins and the shield, but no, I don't have no headgear. I don't see it. Maybe I should pull this thing apart. Maybe they sent it. Maybe it's sending it in a separate thing. I'll send them an email and ask them what's going on. You, this this where you got it from? No, no. That's where I found it. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying when you got your, well, where did you get your headgear from? They sent you the headgear too. No, no, no. I just know because of when I used to work, I used to have it with the headgear. The shield attaches to the headgear. Well, where? Okay, so they're supposed to send me headgear. Or yeah, what? yeah. You can't make your own headgear. You there is a special. I see. I see where they have the holes and everything like that. Yeah, it so, attaches to it like that. Okay, so I, I got to email them and say, "Hi, what do I attach this thing to?" Okay, yeah. cool, cool. All right, man. All right, you take care. Be safe. All right, you too, bro. Okay, later. <laughs>